Hey guys, I found something pretty interesting on Google's AI Studio, and I wanted to show you guys this because to me this is absolutely fascinating. This is a way to generate good UI UX with Gemini 3 Flash. This comes from this guy here, Amar Reshi, who is the lead product plus design at Google AI Studio. Google AI Studio is definitely cooking right now. So yeah, before we just jump into this, let's just see this in action, right? So create a futuristic login form. Okay, now this is really, really cool what they've done here. And, you know, I've kind of been cooking with this the last couple of days, but not what you're seeing here. Obviously, this is cool, right? Before continuing with the video, shout out to today's sponsor, Harbor SEO. Now, for full transparency, Harbor was built by me. Originally, it was built by another team. I recently took it back into my own hands and rebuilt it from the ground up with everything that I've learned about coding in the last few years. What Harbor does is it takes your website, just your sitemap, or not even your sitemap, just your site URL, a keyword, and it generates incredibly good AI articles using AI. We even have this new feature which basically puts stats inside your articles. This will help you rank on Google and also on ChatGPT and other LLMs because they are looking for data rich articles. It takes all of your images, it does everything, guys, and it's $29 a month. It has a researcher which basically uses my own systems plus AI in order to find potential keywords for your website. There's the topic scaler, which looks for missing parts of your topical authority. There's a reworker, which allows you to take previously written articles and make them better. There is a linker, which helps you find backlinks. They are already prospected, ready to go. Just literally message, pe message these people, pay them, and you'll get a backlink. And then finally, the latest feature, which is the scout. The scout, what it does is it looks for trending topics in your niche. This is optimized specifically for e-commerce. It will work on any website, but specifically for Shopify and WordPress websites. Check it out. There is a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you for your attention. Back to the video. So the really cool thing is these names here, Serrated Obsidian Monolith, Bioluminescent Membrane Viscosity, Kinetic Brushed Tantalum. Look how amazing these actually are. Now, obviously, this is really, really simple. I know that, right? I'm not saying, oh, my God, look, this is, you know, we've changed everything just from this. But the cool thing about this, guys, is, first of all, we can see the prompts that we used to build this. And second of all, we could grab this code if we wanted, right? So source, we can grab this code and we could use this to build the rest of our website, right? So just while I'm talking, let's just quickly see that in act. So I'll use Word for this because it obviously has artifacts. So I'll just say, make me a SaaS homepage uh, using the style below, right? And we'll just say this, and we'll let that cook for a second. And while that's cooking, guys, let's just jump into the code here and have a look at the prompts, because this is where it starts to get super interesting. And remember, we can actually take these, right? So creative examples, do not simply copy these, use them as a guide for tone. Example A, so we could take these examples here, and we can basically create whatever we want, right? So this looks like it's a two-part prompt. The first part of the prompt comes up with the name, and also, therefore, the style of the UI being created. And then the second one generates the actual code, I, I assume, right? So you can see here, you are Flash UI. Create a stunning high-fidelity UI component for trimmed input, which will be the uh, output from the first prompt. Conceptual direction, style instruction, visual uh, execution rules, Materiality, use the specified metaphor to drive every CSS choice. Love it. Typography, use high quality web points, pair a bold sans serif with a refined monospace for data. Motion, include subtle high performance CSS, JS animations. IP safeguard, no artist names or trademarks. Layouts, be bold with negative spaces and hierarchy, avoid generic cards. Return only HTML, no markdown fences. So you could take this concept, right, guys, and you could really, really start to expand on it.
So you could do this, like you, you could make it generate six instead of three, right? For example, you could probably introduce nano banana into this as well, which would be even more interesting, right? This actually might be how they built Stitch, thinking about it. I don't know if they should have given this away, to, to be honest. This is actually how they've built Stitch. Um, this two-part system will be how they're building most of their AI applications. Actually, I'm not sure they should have given this away. You can see as well, we have streaming, right? If you don't know, basically, damn, this is insane. Actually, I need to copy this in case they take this down. Uh, they've just given away so much juice that I don't think they should have given away. Uh, thank you, Amar, for giving this away <laughs> to us. Honestly, this is crazy. I just realized something. Like, this is basically, you know, a blueprint to creating your own version of this, but doing whatever the hell you wanted, right? You probably need these two. Okay, interesting. I just love seeing how this stuff works in the back end, or not even the back end, the, the front end, I guess. I don't know, whatever, um, and kind of extrapolating on it and, and improving on it and seeing what we could build. Because this is just a very, very quick example, right? But yeah, like, like I said at the beginning, like this is just an extremely easy way to get UI UX, right? Extremely easy. So just this tool alone, AI Studio, it's just literally if you just go and build on AI Studio, right? So I'm on build. It's just here, Flash UI. It's so good, guys. It's so good. It really starts to make you think what might actually be possible with UI UX. Okay, so we can maybe get an idea here of... Wow, really interesting. Really, really interesting, guys. So it took the style from the login and it just put it for the entire homepage. From here, just so you guys know, you can basically build an entire application, right? So literally without any doubt in my mind now, we could take UI UX built by Gemini 3 Flash, for God's sake, not even Gemini 3 Pro, using this Flash UI. Or we can improve on what we have here, right? Make it even better. Um, I, I would have some ideas, like I would make it generate six, for example. I would try and get even more kind of of these metaphors out. I love this. Use physical and material metaphors. I absolutely love the way that he's built this. It's given me so many ideas. And it's so simple as well. It's just a two-part prompt. It's just prompt one, prompt two. That's literally it. That's crazy. For such an effective way to build UI UX. And then you can take this and you can build an entire website, right? Because once you've got the, the design system down, you, you've got the design system, right? All you actually need is a design system. And it just looks so good. I don't, I hate that it's added the purple classic Claude. It just can't resist adding the purple, can it? But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, that is an incredible result. Okay, so the final thing I just I just wanted to quickly do was see how Gemini 3 Flash would deal with the same problem that I gave Claude before. Because, you know, may as well see. Okay, so we'll copy the code here. It's unfortunate that they still don't have artifacts. Paste it here and then run. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. That is... Uh, that is even better. Holy shit. I promised myself I'd stop swearing. I, I, I really, st I'm starting to think that YouTube doesn't like it when I swear. Damn, that is super impressive, though. Guys, this might be the new way to do UI UX. It's even better than skills. I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. And if you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Peace out.